Hello everyone and uh, welcome to Crypto Night, the crypto investor channel. I'm Boris, so let's dive in. I'm with Colton today. Hello, Colton. Hey, Boris. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Crypto Night channel, everyone. Today we'll be talking about VeChain. Let's dive right in. Can you give us a little synopsis on the coin? Yeah, VeChain. Uh, it's the uh, one of those great coins that has actually uh, a real world, uh, real life utility. As uh, uh, lots of clients and um, it's it's really a, a nice project it took uh, quite a bit of a beating uh during the bear market and uh therefore it's uh, it's now a uh, valuable uh project that has some great opportunity with the price being so down uh, at the all-time high it was at uh, 28 cents back in nine in 2021 and it was at uh 0.0019 cents back in 2020 so during the previous bull run it did uh, an extraordinary uh, uh, gain and uh, it rose very very fast and today the coin is around four and a half cents uh, so very far from its whole time high as a matter of fact uh, you are looking at uh, about 84 percent down from the uh the whole time high they have a market cap of 3 billion 3.2 billion so large project uh they're currently ranking uh number 38 on uh, coin gecko they have a total supply of 85 billion coins with a max supply of 86 billion and a circulating supply of 72 billion. So that's the other thing that's nice with uh, VeChain. Uh, lots of the coins are in circulation. Um, they won't be too many dumpage on, uh, on people invest investing today. So they define them themselves as the, uh, the Vita VeChain Tor uh, blockchain being the layer one for sustainability. Uh, one thing that they're great at is tracking, uh, tracking goods, making sure that they are real, that they are not a, a knockoff or a fake. Uh, they're being used by a lot of luxury brands. They're being used by wine companies and uh, a lot of other industries. They are highly scalable. What's nice about them, they already have the clients. They have uh, over 2.5 million active wallet addresses. To date, they have done 51 million transactions. And then they have also the number of uh, clauses that are uh, basically different tasks. So a transaction can carry out multiple clauses uh so they've done over 300 million of those and uh in just the past uh 24 hours they have done close to uh 250,000 clauses their partners uh well-known brands such as walmart china or bmw or bear or byd i mean the go the list goes on and on and on um with those guys because like i said for people tracking goods worldwide this is ideal using the blockchain making sure something is a let's say bmw it's a real bmw part that you are buying uh, if you're replacing something on a car uh, you, you can track everything you know from the factory all the way to the uh, the dealership or to the place that you bought it from their energy consumption is extremely low. They give an example of that powering the, 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 the VeChain uh, blockchain. For an entire year, is they could have enough driving a gasoline-powered passenger vehicle for one year. So that, that's very low consumption, the equivalent of just a car, you know, for running the blockchain for like an entire year. And the other big thing is uh, speed and security to make sure that it's sustainable and that it's, it is uh, scalable. They have introduced recently what's called the account ab abstraction, uh, which unlocks programmable uh, smart contract wallets. So that is 
very interesting because they can now have those programmable smart contracts and that brings even more utility to this blockchain so they can do payment transactions they can do different business activities like i said tracking is one of the big things uh tracking goods uh financial activities um lots of different things and that's one of the re reason why actually it jumped also recently because uh, in the past seven days uh, it has jumped quite a bit it was sitting uh, about a week ago at three cents and it jumped all the way to about five uh, slightly above five cents now it's hovering it's sideways a little bit at uh, four and a half cents but it's because of some of the excitement that it's uh, it's bringing Thank you, Boris. What about the on-chain data and how does VeChain compare to Ethereum for the last month or so? So over the past month, because of course of that uh, big pump that we have seen, they are up in real volume by 189%, while Ethereum is actually down 57%. On the market cap dominance, they are up 36%, while Ethereum is down 5%. Small thing about this though, Market dominance is up 36% while Ethereum is down 5%, but obviously the market cap of Ethereum is much bigger. So a 5% move in real dollars is bigger than a 36% move of a much smaller market cap. The sharp ratio is actually down 335% for VeChain, while the Ethereum sharp ratio is up 4%. And then the volatility is 20, uh, positive 24% for VeChain, whereas the volatility for Ethereum is down 29%. Thank you, Boris. What about the latest news and developments with this coin? So overall, you know, the market uh, has been going a little bit sideways. It went up from the low 40s to the 51, 52,000 mark and uh, it's slightly sideways, you know, uh, right now. It needs to pause, you know, the market always has to make some pauses. Uh, it'll probably go a little sideways, try to uh, gather momentum, and then it will go up again. There's always a possibility for some small retracements with, with what has been going on lately. And with the ETF still doing very, very strong, I don't think we're going to have any kind of major retracement. If we have a retracement, it might be something like 10, 15, 20% at the most, and it'll probably be very short lived if it happens. Um, the, also, like I was saying, the V chain, you know, uh, aims at improving the supply chain management and business processes with that new development of the account abstraction, which enhance the uh, interoperability and the smart contracts wallet, the fact that they are, they can be programmed in advance. So overall, the whole market is pretty positive. Um, some are doing better than others but remember in the world of crypto nothing moves at the same time so you'll have one coin that'll do plus 30 percent one day and then go sideways for a while and another coin that didn't pump on that day that did maybe one percent you know uh, will pump maybe a week later and also do you know maybe 25 percent or something so you don't don't be surprised if you see those uh numbers pumping and then nothing happening for a while because once you pump i mean you, you have to rebuild your base uh you, you have to be on solid ground if you were going parabolic that's why it doesn't last very long and most of the time a parabolic move will have a crash right after it because it's not sustainable overall micro strategy also you know they have uh, surpassed uh, 10 billion you know in uh in bitcoins that they have gathered over years and now they are in profit over uh, four billion dollars in profit but what's funny is um is that they that they hold so micro strategy has 190,000 bitcoins 
and uh, all the ETFs put together, they now hold uh, 230 or 240. I mean, it's, it's going so fast that they're selling so many of them and buying so many of them every day. I mean, the, the number keeps on, uh, on growing, but extremely fast. So overall, I think the market is, is primed for um, some bigger moves, especially with the halving arriving now in, uh, in about uh, 60 days. So that's where we can see VeChain also making some, uh, some bigger moves. Can you stake VeChain, Boris? And if so, where's the best place to get your APY? Yeah, you can stake it uh, onto the. Um, you can stake it on chain, which is with V chain, and there are lots of places that do that. So it's uh, easy. You can either do it from exchanges, or you can do it from multiple hot and cold wallets. However, uh, VET is the uh, the token for V chain, but they reward you in VTHO which is kind of the uh, other coin that they have, which is used for um, transactions. And uh, they reward you at the rate of 4.32 VTHO per 10,000 VET per day. So it's kind of a weird calculation, especially since the VTHO has its own uh, trading on, um, on the market. So if you look at VTHO, the price varies quite a bit as well. Uh, so it's difficult to give a percentage, but it, it, it equates around the lines of rough, very roughly about, let's say, 1.6%, 1 1.7% uh, 1 per day. Um, so that's, uh, and the best is to do it, you know, um, the best is to do it with, uh, to do it on chain. That's probably your, your best bet. Now, the good thing is uh, you don't really need to delegate the coins or do any uh, anything very complicated. That's one of the easiest coins to actually stake. Uh, most of the time, if you have a uh, one of those wallets that is compatible with VeChain, it's pretty much automatic. Just the fact that you have those VeChain um, uh, VET coins in your wallet, will be good enough, you will automatically receive the VTHO rewards. Thank you, Boris. What about the price prediction? Do you really see VeChain hitting a 12x in the next six years or so? Yeah, actually, I, I, I know some people are going to jump and uh, in the comments, we'll probably get some people saying like, oh, come on, this is super low. Uh, once again, we're trying to be very conservative, but I do agree that those numbers are extremely, extremely conservative. Um, you know, in a very near future, we're probably going to see, you know, eight, nine cents, no problem. Then should jump, you know, to uh, about 20 cents. And here on a super conservative number, we are looking along the lines of about 50, 60 cents, you know, per coin by, I would say, you know, we put 20, 30, but really it could be by the end of this bull run. Now, I know those numbers are very conservative. There are already some analysts that are talking about VeChain reaching 70 cents before the end of this year, which is huge because that's more like an 18, 17 X from here. And then there is another one that's actually calling for $2.30 by the end of the, or let's say at the top of this, uh, of this bull run that we already have started. And if that is the case, uh, you are looking at a 51X uh, from here. Now, of course, sometimes there are analysts that call out, you know, uh, for big prices because they want, you know, more uh, people reading their articles, etc. Sometimes those are like bait clicks. But I do agree that uh, to me, by the end of this bull run, we definitely going to break the all time high, which was 28 cents and uh, reaching 70 cents is definitely possible going above a dollar between one and two dollars is very possible as well it is it is very uh very possible which 
of course, you know, if it does happen, you know, you're looking at a, um, uh, a market cap is going to be, uh, is going to be <laughs> gigantic. So that's why we're trying to be conservative because, you know, if you look at the market cap, currently it's 3.2 billion for uh, VeChain. If you do a 51x from here, that puts it at 160 billion. Now, the problem of 160 billion uh, in market cap, that's pretty much half the market cap, you know, of uh, Ethereum currently. So that would be a gigantic jump. Now, anything is possible, you know, I mean, people go crazy in, uh, in, in, in bull runs. But 230 might be really rich. A dollar, dollar is, is possible. You know, I mean, that would be still a pretty big multiplier. Uh, that's, that's a 22x from here. And uh, 22x at a 3.2 billion, that's still a 70 billion market cap, which is, which is pretty, uh, pretty exceptional. So, yeah, 70 cents to a dollar is, is very doable. And then after that, anything is possible, but is it going to happen? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Colton. And uh, we look forward to see you on the next Kryptonite video. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.